Hacking a phone sounds like something straight out of a spy movie. But let's be clear, hacking someone's phone without permission is illegal and unethical. In the world of cybersecurity, hackers are often the bad guys, but there's a flip side. Ethical hackers, also known as white hats, use their skills for good, helping people and organizations find vulnerabilities to protect themselves. However, since the topic is interesting and often misunderstood, let's break down how bad actors might attempt to hack a phone in five steps. Not to teach you how, but to help you understand how these attacks work so you can protect yourself. Step one, phishing. The hook, hackers often start with a phishing attack, which is like throwing out bait in the form of a fake email or text message. The message looks real. It might pretend to be from your bank, a friend, or even a delivery service, tricking you into clicking a malicious link. Once you click, you could be taken to a fake website where you're asked to enter personal information or malware is secretly installed on your device. Step two, social engineering, manipulating trust. Social engineering is a clever trick where hackers manipulate people's trust to gain access to their phones. They might pretend to be a tech support agent, your phone provider, or even a coworker, persuading you to give them personal details or remote access to your phone. By simply talking you into it, they get what they want without ever touching your device. Step three, malware, the silent spy. Once malware is on your phone, through a phishing link, app download, or sketchy website, it can spy on everything you do. Keyloggers can track your every tap, recording passwords, bank details, and private messages. Other types of malware can give hackers remote control over your phone, allowing them to see your camera, microphone, or even location without you ever realizing it. Step four, exploiting vulnerabilities. Breaking the code phones, like any software, can have security flaws or vulnerabilities. Hackers often search for these weaknesses, especially if you haven't updated your operating system or apps. With an unpatched vulnerability, hackers can sneak in like a thief finding an unlocked door. That's why keeping your phone's software updated is crucial. Those updates often fix security gaps that hackers are looking to exploit. Step five, public Wi-Fi attacks. Eavesdropping in plain sight, Using public Wi-Fi can feel convenient, but it's also a hacker's playground. Hackers can set up man-in-the-middle attacks, intercepting the data that flows between your phone and the internet on an unsecured network. They can steal your login credentials, sensitive data, or even plant malware while you're browsing the web at your favorite coffee shop. Conclusion, the good side of hacking. Understanding these hacking techniques doesn't mean you should try them. Cybercrime has serious consequences. Instead, learning how hackers operate helps you protect yourself from falling victim to their schemes. Always be cautious with suspicious links, use strong passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and keep your phone updated. Ethical hackers are out there too, using their powers to fight cybercrime and make the digital world a safer place. So while hacking a phone may seem like something cool or mysterious, Remember that knowledge is best used to defend and protect, not to cause harm.